Hi, in this screencast I'm going to show you how to export Beacon plus your applications in a format that is easily runnable outside of Eclipse. Now you might wonder why you need to export in the first place because Java is inherently cross-platform. Uh, the reason is that Eclipse has this nice ability to create a platform-specific executable that just wraps the call to Java and all of the command line arguments and makes uh, it a little more platform process list friendly. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how to do this. So first off we have a concept of a product file. So if you come down here to net.beaconcontroller product you can see that there are a few of these that are included with the beacon distribution. A product file is, is nothing more than a list of bundles you want to start the order that you want to start them and any additional arguments that you would like to uh, have included at, at start time. So let's go ahead and click on the main one that includes all, everything uh, in the beacon distribution. So we'll double click here and we can see if we go to these tabs the dependencies that it depends on and the configuration when they should start if they're auto start or not you can duplicate this and edit it accordingly for your own product. Um, we're going to go ahead and export this now. So up here in the corner there are a few things of interest. You can actually test your product ahead of time uh, by clicking next to the debug and do launch an Eclipse application in debug mode to verify that your product will work. Uh, we've already done that so we're going to skip straight to export. So we'll click here on export an Eclipse product. This pops up a new dialog window uh, pointing to this configuration that we were just looking at. The root directory, we're going to go ahead and change that to beacon. Uh, ensure synchronize before exporting is not clicked and we need to pick the folder we want to export to. Uh, this has already been filled in because I've exported before but we're just going to export to a subfolder of where the source is checked out to named dist. Uh, down here, these options ensure they look like what you see here on the screen. We're not going to export source right now. We don't need a metadata repository. In fact, we're also not going to export from multiple platforms right now. And we do need to allow for binary cycles in the target platform. So go ahead and click finish. You'll see it putting everything together for you. and let's check and see what it did. So if we come down here, I am already in this folder and let's see what we've got here. We've got a beacon folder. Okay, let's go into there, take a look and you'll see it's now created this beacon executable a con and some configuration and it's exported all of our projects as jars in, in this plugins folder, which is great. So I can go ahead and do dot forward slash beacon to launch it and away it goes. It's ready to go. So let's go ahead and stop it now. I'll also show you how to uh, export for multiple platforms. It's a little bit more tricky. Let's uh, in fact remove everything that we just built from there. Now to export for multiple platforms you need to download an archive that contains these platform specific executables for platforms other than your own and I have a link to that if you go to Beacon's homepage and then click on guides deploying there is a link right here that will take you to download that it's the Eclipse Delta Pack is its name go ahead and click that link and you can click one of these mirrors to get the download going I've already downloaded it and extracted it it's important that you extract this to a folder other than your Eclipse base folder. So I've extracted mine to my home directory and I've called it Eclipse 3.6 Delta Pack. Now we need to add the plugins that are included in this Delta Pack to our target so that they get picked up for the export. So we're going to go to the main target here and we're actually going to copy this target. So let's click copy and then up here paste We'll call it main multi-platform target and hit OK. And open that up. And we need to add to this location list the new Eclipse Delta Pack that we just downloaded. So go here and click Add, Directory, Next, 
and then browse to it. Hit OK. And finish. And then you'll see that it's now picked up some new plugins from that Delta pack. Go ahead and, and save it. And everything has been resolved. So we're now going to set this as the target platform. And then let's go and try exporting from multiple platforms. So go back to your product, go to export, and we're going to leave everything the same except we're going to tick this box for export from multiple platforms. Hit next. You can see we have multiple platforms selected here. Uh, in fact, we've got both Linux versions, both Mac versions, and both Windows versions and then go ahead and hit finish and it should export for all of these platforms. Let's see what we got. Okay, and now we have uh, exported versions for all of these platforms. For example, I can go into the Win32, take a look, and we have a nice beacon executable file for a Windows platform. Okay, so that's the extent of this screencast on exporting for uh, running outside of Eclipse. You can also do this from Maven, which is another build system, and you can check that out on the same guide page that I showed here just a second ago. There's some instructions there. So, hope you've enjoyed this screencast. Thanks.